We're right in the heart of Europe, so so many other interesting cities, capitals are so close to us. So definitely over the last several years there's been a rise in the number of tourists. Zagreb is becoming an ever more popular destination and I think this is just the beginning. Skaljuceva is known for its terraces and in the nice weather the people come out and sit here all day long if they could. <laughs> We make everything that we can by hand. We bake our buns daily. We pickle our pickles in the back and we have fun doing it all. We decided to make a lifestyle change and be a part of Croatia's change as well, uh, with Croatia joining the EU. It's a very relaxed lifestyle here in Zagreb. There's a, a lot of coffee breaks. I'm the director and owner of MPG, the region's leading marketing and promotion agency. I think Zagreb uh, is one of the cities that I've experienced that has something going on 365 days of the year. There's always something to offer either in the city center, uh, public events, free events, festivals, uh, music events. So it reminds me a lot of home actually and uh, there are a lot of hidden gems here we find like Miragoy Cemetery. It's just a great place to stroll. One of the things that I, I think I value the most is the uh, work-life uh, balance. So having more time uh, to spend together as a family. We go to a lot of the museums actually. It's what, with the kids, that's what we tend to do. Well, I went to see Nikola Tesla and uh, I saw many things he invented. And some people went in this box where electricity would flow through. If you touched the metal, you wouldn't feel anything. I teach Canadian literature at the University of Zagreb. We have numerous students who are very much interested in Canada. It's perceived as very peaceful, very structured, ordered, friendly, and multicultural. Zagreb hotels are phenomenal. We've got a great uh, supply. Zagreb is a very safe town where Canadians would feel very much at home because a lot of people speak English. They're very friendly. Canadians love the outdoors, as do Croatians. They would enjoy very much seeing the men's and women's slalom race up on Medvedinsa. It's a big city, but not too big. But you're still close enough to Slovenia and Italy and Austria and all those places where we have friends and family. And our fan base is uh, probably the best in the league. It, uh, you know, they've supported us right from day one. And I have uh, my wife and three children here with me. Uh, and they love it. Uh, kids are in school here and. Uh, this is my fifth year in Europe and the fans uh, are something special in, in Europe and especially in Zagreb, they're, they're great and chanting the whole game and making a lot of noise. Uh, we really enjoy it. Every year there is uh, about 100,000 Canadians who come uh, for summer vacations. Canadian and Croatian have had a long history together. We have now almost 200,000 Croatian living in Canada. When my children came here the first time, they came at Christmas and then we were be able to see the Christmas markets, having sausages and hot wine outside. It's a city that has a human dimension. 